Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's recipe contains only one main ingredient and this will help you get stronger hair, thicker hair, healthier hair and prevent dry scalp and essentially help to lessen hair loss. It is really, really good for adding shine to your hair and also giving it a really nice soft texture so i do hope that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and basically how to use it now let's hop right into the video so to begin with you are going to need a bowl in which you are going to make um this treatment so i'm using here a cup um like a measuring cup just so i know exactly the quantity of water uh, that i'm going to need for today's recipe now i will be using two cups of hot water but you don't have to use the exact quantity guys if you have perhaps you know less hair or let's say you're not looking to make too much of this now this actually made quite a lot for me and i did have some leftover so it was just a little bit more than what i actually needed so um, i would say maybe one cup and a half would have been the perfect um sort of quantity for one use but it's okay if you make more you can always freeze the rest so after you've added hot water to your um, little container or, or sort of bowl you are going to go in next with some ambrinu powder now this is a product from chard and it's super super amazing for hair growth and maintenance and essentially preventing hair loss in general i got this from ebay but you can also find it on amazon i'll see if i can find a link for you guys it will be in my description box so you do feel free to check that out so for this quantity of water we are going to need about two tablespoons of the ambunu powder now if you are looking to make less then maybe use only one um, tablespoon of the ambunu powder essentially now just to give you a bit more benefits or sort of knowledge about the ambunu powder in case perhaps you haven't come across it ambunu is really good because it contains something called saponin which gives um, the ability to cleanse uh, the scalp and it's also very effective as an antioxidant anti-inflammatory and also an emollient so emollient is something that just makes your hair very nice and soft so essentially it makes your hair softer it adds beautiful shine to it it makes it stronger it gives you thicker hair it prevents dry scalp and essentially helps to lessen hair loss as well so i've added that and essentially when you add the powder it gets a little bit clumpy so you want to go ahead and mix it as much as you can just to get rid of the clumps now my spoon just wasn't enough to do this so i'm going to use a hand mixer and um, just to get it properly uh, mixed so i don't have many lumps in it um, you can also pop this in your blender guys and just go ahead and blend for as long as you can so that the whole thing gets mixed properly now it's important that you get a very nice homogeneous kind of um, mixture so that you don't have any sort of you know lumps of the ambunu powder in your hair afterwards now once that's done guys you can see it's a very slimy kind of consistency and this is great for detangling um, so really really good for detangling your hair in addition to all of the goodness that I've just mentioned earlier now we'll be adding a bit of Jamaican black castor oil now this is completely optional I know some of you guys get confused when I say one ingredient and then you see another one the reason why I title my videos like that is because you don't necessarily have to add the extra bits that I'm showing you the main ingredient in this recipe essentially it's just the ambrini powder and essentially it is just as good on its own without any oil but if you want yeah you can add some jamaican black castor oil just like i'm doing here just for added shine and moisture or you can use it without it or you can use any other oil could be olive oil or rapeseed oil coconut oil or any other oil of your choice now this is absolutely amazing for hair growth for thickening the hair for preventing hair loss for giving you moisture which is key when it comes to retaining length so it is yeah it's just amazing so i do hope that you go ahead and try this out guys and also let me know if you have come across ambunu powder before is it something that you've used or is this something that you're likely to use let me know in the comment section down below but yeah it is definitely amazing so this is really simple it's very quick so at this point it is completely done and i'm just going to show you the texture essentially so you can see it's very 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 slimy 
um, so this is just very very good for moisture and also detangling okay guys so in this part of the video I'm going to share with you how to use it and I'll also get to show you how I use it essentially so I will be using this as a detangler but also as a deep conditioning treatment now if you've been working with me for a while you know that I deep condition my hair um, every week or at least once every two weeks so essentially my hair at this point does need a bit of deep conditioning it is dry um, and yeah it just needs a bit of moisture so I will be using this to um, fully detangle my hair and also leave it in so that it can do its job when it comes to moisture and when I tell you guys the moisture in this is insane literally like my hair felt so soft days after using this like literally it is the best now I forgot to mention initially that these also comes in the form of herb um, which could be better essentially because you can just soak it and essentially extract the herbs from the um, from the mixture and essentially it gives you a much cleaner um, kind of conditioner or dip conditioner but the powder works just as fine um, notice I did not strain guys so essentially um, this can get stuck in your hair but you need to go ahead and rinse it really well so if you rinse your hair really well you'll manage to get everything out essentially so just like you saw earlier guys I first of all finger detangled it's just to make detangling a lot easier now I'm also um, sort of going in here with the um, conditioner that we just made now notice I did not spray my hair before this because there's really no need this is extremely moisturizing and it gives your hair so much slip which makes it really really good for detangling so essentially detangling my hair didn't take long at all and I felt like I didn't lose as much hair as I would have perhaps if I was using something else now I like to compare this to aloe vera because it sort of has a similar sort of texture to aloe vera gel as well I mean freshly made aloe vera gel honestly I love both of them but I feel like this one is probably a little bit better at detangling than aloe vera to be completely honest and it gives my hair so much shine as well but I do love both of them now this is a great alternative if perhaps you live in a country where it's difficult to find aloe vera you can easily find this on Amazon or eBay or even Etsy so you can use it essentially to reap the same benefits as you would have if you were using aloe vera essentially so it is very very good my hair felt really nice and soft it had so much slip and yeah it was just it was just great I just loved it now if you are detangling your hair using a comb please follow the procedure that I'm doing here so you want to detangle from the ends first and then walk your way down to your roots this is just to minimize um, breakage essentially and it just makes it so much easier so after I've done that section guys I'm just going to twist do a little bantu knot and then move on to the next section so it doesn't dry out as I work on the next section of my hair essentially so if you've made it to this point of the video and you still haven't thumbs up please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up guys also subscribe to the channel if you're not already I share a lot of content on natural hair remedies for growth maintenance in general so if you're interested in this type of content definitely be sure to join the family I would really appreciate it now if you're watching and you're already subscribed thank you so much for your love and support like you're literally the best and I'm so grateful to have you here so I know some of you guys will be wondering how often you should be using this just like I said earlier guys I'm using this as a dip conditioning treatment because it's time for me to dip condition my hair now if it wasn't my dip conditioning day for example I could still use it as a way of just detangling my hair or kind of just you know putting moisture in my hair essentially now if you are going to use this as a leave-in conditioner a sort of leave in your hair now I will suggest that you use the uh, the leaves just because you're most likely to get a cleaner um, kind of conditioner out of it now with the powder obviously as you can see it is colored 
okay so it looks a bit darker in color um, so if you are going to leave this in your hair it is definitely going to leave residue so with this you definitely need to rinse out but with the leaves you can get a much cleaner um, conditioner I think I will probably see if I can find it and make another video where I'll show you what it looks like if you are just to use the leaves so it is really good at giving your hair moisture and all of that good stuff so I do hope that you go ahead and try this out and essentially let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it and or even if you tried it in the past and you loved it or you didn't like it let me know what your experience was but for me this is definitely amazing like I just love it. Um, so essentially I'm going to do that throughout my, the rest of my hair until everything is done and then I'm going to put a um, a heat cap on I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about an hour and then I'm just gonna go and rinse it off with just warm water you do not need to shampoo your hair after using this if you are using it as a deep conditioning treatment now you can also use it as a pre treatment which is what you do before you shampoo your hair so essentially you would follow the same procedure but then go ahead and shampoo your hair afterwards just like you would normally you know how you use aloe vera as a pre treatment you can also use this in the same fashion and get the same amazing results so yeah you can use as many times a week as you want to or once a month depending on what you are trying to achieve so yeah this is kind of pretty much it for me today guys i hope that you found this video helpful in some way and if you enjoy watching please please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already i would really really appreciate it if you join the family and also share the video with somebody you believe could benefit from this um, and then i will catch you in my next video which will be very very soon so bye guys